everybody to our dedication of our giving tree today. I want to thank everyone for coming. I want to thank uh, Virgil, the councilman, mayor, and Mayor Cotton uh, for coming. And um, with that, uh, and I also want to thank Earl McNeil back there. Give a big wave. Well, Earl, we are your gratitude. Um, Earl designed and created this beautiful tree. And uh, for that, we are eternally grateful. Virgil? Thank you. Uh, I want to thank you for being in, invited to this uh, occasion. Uh, as I was telling uh, Ms. McNeil a few moments ago, I wasn't aware of this until a few weeks ago. Uh, we were in the process of, uh, we the council were in the process of approving the budget, and I hope, uh, looked in and saw a few things dealing with public art. And uh, in, our, uh, in our publication, uh, our rules and procedures, it says that every other year the council is going to set aside X amount of money for public art. And I called uh, Lori over and I said, uh, I haven't seen this before. And she said, oh. Well, we had some public art when we got the half a million dollars a few years ago to start this, uh, uh, this, this beautiful uh, senior citizen that we have here now. And uh, so uh, she said, well, we're going to have a tree that, uh, that's, that's going up over the uh, senior center, and uh, we're going to have a dedication of that very soon. And I said, fine, I, I, I'll make sure that I'll be there for that. And uh, so here, that's what we're here for today, is the candidate, and I had the opportunity to meet uh, Mr. Matt McNeil, and I thank you very much uh, on the benefit of the council and the citizens of this uh, community. And I don't know if all of you are aware of it, uh, I don't, uh, one of the things that I, I, I made a promise to the senior citizens uh, right after we opened the original center, I said, we're going to have a, an addition to this soon. <laughs> and, 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 and I almost had to eat some words, but uh, we do have it now. <laughs> and one of the other problems is that I don't know if you know, but 35% of our 44,000 people that the census say that we have in Lacey now, 35% of those are senior citizens. Oh. So, uh, our population is growing by leaps and bounds, and which means that the city of Lacey is going to be on the cutting edge again. We're going to make sure that uh, we take care of them Absolutely. and have facilities for them. I know that we have uh, uh, other uh, senior citizens that are creeping in from the other jurisdictions, but that's all right. <laughs> the, the, the doors are open, and uh, we welcome them. So thank you very much for having me here, and uh, I say that the council really appreciate what is going on here, and we will do everything we can to make sure it goes on. Thank you very much. Thank you, Mr. <laughs> Thank you, Mr. And now we'd like to turn it over to Eileen. If I could turn it back off. There we go. There you go. Thank you. Well, thank you so much, Virgil. We really appreciate, appreciate your kind words and, more importantly, all your support mm -hmm. that you have given us from the conception of this center over 12 years ago when we first, the city of Lacey started writing the first CDBG grant. Virgil has not only been a supporter, but a cheerleader, an advocate for this center. He comes, drops by, he um, visits with folks, but he also, behind the scenes, helps us senior services for Shaw Sound to raise dollars for this center and for the operation of it. And this beautiful giving tree, um, donor tree here, is actually here to help us do that as well. And I want to say, when this kind of concept came up of how do we make the budget to operate this center and all the programs that we have here, an idea was put forward, well, we could put bricks down 
or do something like that. Well, that is actually really very expensive to get the bricks and get them put in with the putty stuff or whatever the real word is and get them etched and what have you. So we looked at, well, what other kind of tribute could we have that wouldn't be so expensive? And Lori, our parks director, Lori Flem, suggested some kind of giving tree she had seen. Well, we looked into that and the cost of the initial tree was over $5,000 to buy a purchased tree to, to do wow. that. And um, then Lori said, well, you know, wouldn't it be nice if we could have something that looks like one of the trees around here? And Earl McNeil, a wonderful artist that created this, who has been a volunteer and supporter of senior services, and in particular, the nutrition program as a Meals on Wheels driver and as a um, helper to serve in the kitchen and dining room. I knew he was a wonderful woodworker. And we approached him and he kind of said, well, I've never done anything like that before. But he was brave enough to take it on and um, he created this beautiful tree. And really, if you look at this tree and then go outside and look at some of the trees that are on the property, it really brings kind of that whole outside world inside here. So Earl, we so appreciate your artistry and your woodworking skills. Thank you yeah, so thank you. much. I also want to draw your attention to the leaves that are now coming on the tree and those are amazing people here and just people in the community that want to continue to support our center here and the programs that we have and if your name isn't up there you too may have the opportunity to make a donation and have your um, donation um, registered here as one of the leaves that help make us grow. And I do want to say a big thank you to the Jorgensons because they actually kicked this off and way before I think we even got the tree installed, they came in with their donation to get their leaf. So they started us out and, um, yes sir? Number one. You were number one, numero uno. If there's any question in my mind, it's now gone. You are number one. That's right. Thank you, Gary and Rolanda, for kicking us off there. We really, really appreciate that and all your support. So. Um, I wanted to know, Earl, as our artist, do you have anything you would like to share? Yeah. Oh, good. <laughs> 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 like Quentin said, when Chris asked me to do the tree, I, I usually do bowl turning, and I did done some furniture. I've never done a sculpture like this. So it's uh, kind of scary. That you think about it. Fortunately, someone, I'm not quite sure who it was, gave me some pictures. And I kind of worked with those. And also, if you look at these two big trees that are out here, it gave me some ideas. Uh, when I went to get the wood for it, the walnut, I saw this piece that was, at, I got the wood from Pardell Lumber on the west side. And I saw this piece. I, I knew exactly what I was going to do at that point. It absolutely had to be right there. So from then on, it, it just kind of evolved. Now, originally, Chris asked me how much I charged to do this, and I gave him a price, and he said that was fine. And I got into it, and I realized how much time it was going to take. <laughs> and I thought, well, I had only told him I was going to charge for the material. I didn't say I was going to charge for my time anyway. <laughs> so I figured, okay, the time is actually worth a lot more than material, so I might as well give him material for free as long as I'm not going to charge him for the time anyway. No. <laughs> <laughs> so then I, I figured out the bill with the number of hours, and then it came to thousands of dollars. And, mm -hmm. and I, so I gave him the bill, and I said, I just wrote it all off. <laughs> Wow. So maybe maybe you guys can do it as an IRS right off. Or something. <laughs> <laughs> I'd also like to um, give the microphone to our president of senior services for South Sound to say a few words. But before I do that, I also want to just 
tell you how excited I am. I was just talking to one of the members here who was saying now, this isn't going to crowd into our dance time, is it? <laughs> and she was also saying, well, we have this exercise group in there, you know, when they get over just before the dance, and it's just, here we have this beautiful expanded center, and we're already growing out of it. I just, I, but the marvelous thing is, that we have this wonderful place for Bible seniors to yep. stay active. Yes. And um, I just applaud you all and um, really applaud our new manager here, Jill Rector, who is um, keeping us all scheduled up and active and, and what have you. And so I'd like to introduce Jim Pitchford, who is the president of the Board of Senior Services for Southampton. Thank you, Eileen. Well, our board of directors, uh, Dennis Shoemaker, myself, um, we would like to extend a personal thank you to Earl for his beautiful gift. I know I have tried to do some woodworking, and right now my products would be classified as primitive. This is <laughs> kind of primitive. It's, it's beautiful. It, it provides a, a nice focal point as you come into the building here. And again, thank you very much, Earl. We certainly do appreciate this. So knowing that we have some time constraints, we don't want to go into the dance time. I just want to say a huge thank you again, and please stay and have some cake and come up close to the, see the beautiful work on the tree and the lovely engraved leaves that are as part of that. And spread the word far and wide that you too can have your name on a leaf and support our Lacey Senior Center programs. Thank you so much.